Most data table interfaces are hard to scan and frustrating to use. Here are some design tips that will greatly improve the user experience. Navigation bars don't have to look like actual bars. A bulky gray bar can distract users from viewing the data. Instead, opt for minimalist tabs that blend into the background. They appear less distracting so users can focus better. The header is the most important element of a table and contains the labels to identify the data type in each column. A header that looks like a regular table row is hard to spot at a glance. Instead, make the header more distinct by highlighting it with a tint color. Many users don't know they can click a header item to sort the data in a column. Gray icons are weak visual cues that hide this function. Instead, make the sorting more obvious by applying a blue accent to the icons. When the icons are easier to see, users are more likely to click the header items. The row borders of a table don't have to be so dark. Too dark of a border is harsh on the eyes and can interfere with scanning. Instead, lighten the border shade so that users can focus on the data without distraction. Tight and compact table rows can make the space and layout feel cluttered and hard to scan. Instead, increase the row height to give the data more room to breathe so that users can scan freely without experiencing visual tension. The more text there is on a screen, the harder it is to pick out pieces of information. Text buttons increase the textual noise that cloud up the user's signal when they scan. Instead, replace the text buttons with icon buttons to reduce textual noise for a stronger signal. When numbers are left aligned, they're harder to compare. The user has to process each number to determine which value is greater or less than another. Instead, write and line the numbers so that users can compare by looking at the digit placement from left to right. Statuses tell users when they need to act on their data. A text format doesn't reflect the urgency of a status. Instead, use status chips so that users can distinguish urgency levels through color and shape. There are date formats that interchange the placement of the month and day number. Users can confuse these formats when you use month numbers. Instead, abbreviate the month names so they can interpret dates at a glance. Every table row has a record name that represents each data entity. When the record name column looks the same as the others, there's no visible hierarchy to signify its importance. Instead, bold the record names to help users identify data entities easier. When users can't find what they're looking for, they rely on search. A small search field is hard to notice and uninviting. Instead, emphasize the search by using a wider text field and icon to make it look more inviting. Users need clear feedback cues when they select a table row. A simple checkbox tick isn't enough to confirm if they selected the correct row. Instead, highlight the selected row with a soft tint color so users can confirm their selection quicker. Bulk actions are hard to distinguish when they're all text buttons. Users have to think about what the text label means before they click. Instead, reduce cognitive load by making the buttons look more distinct. Pair each label with an icon that illustrates each action. Thanks for watching UX TV. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. For more UX design tips and articles, visit our newsletter at uxmovement.substack.com.